Welcome back. Flu season is right around the corner, ready or not. And here to help you get ready is Dr. Douglas Weber. He's chief of medical staff for Dignity Health Glendale Memorial Hospital. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You know, of course, flu season is, is here. You were saying the peak time is December through February. That's correct. If people have not got a shot already, is it too late? Not at all. This is perfect timing. Uh, it takes about two weeks for immunity to be able to build once you've gotten the injection and gotten the vaccine. And so peak season is between December, February, March. Uh, so timing would be perfect to get it done right now if you've not already gotten it taken care of. Keep you protected through the winter. Correct. And I asked you, doctor, you know, this year we're hearing that flu mist is not as effective as previously thought. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, the flu mist is not being recommended mainly because studies have shown that it's not as effective. So we're talking about the uh, injection type of vaccination for individuals that are six months and above. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are individuals that are more high risk that we're concerned about, those who are seniors over the age of 65, those who have chronic lung diseases such as asthma, COPD, diabetics who are even higher risk for complications such as pneumonia, or hospitalization from influenza-related illness. Mm -hmm. And last year we saw that some of the strains um, were different than the vaccines. Do you have any indication how this flu season might go? So far it looks really good. Okay. Uh, a few of the small outbreaks that we've seen in September and early October, the isolates seem to be consistent with the vaccine for this particular year. And usually the strains that are included in the vaccine, which are usually either two influenza A type, viruses or B-type virus uh, so far seems consistent with what the laboratory is testing. Now this might be a, a no duh kind of a question, sure. but every once in a while when I start to feel a little icky, I go, do I have the flu or do I have a cold? Set the record straight for us, doctor. Well, influenza is unmistakable. It feels like a truck has hit you. Uh, oftentimes people will be able to look back and even note the hour that it hits you, usually with fever, temperature greater than 100, headache, body aches, uh, just malaise, fatigue, and it comes on pretty abruptly. It can be debilitating, but in healthy individuals who have uh, their immune system intact, it's usually self-limited. Mm -hmm. But in individuals who are higher risk, those people with chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, uh, children under the age of five, they're at higher risk for complications, pneumonia, hospitalization, even possibly death. So if you do get the flu, is there any treatment? We hear about Tamiflu once in a while. Is there anything you can do if you do get the flu? Yeah. As an adjunct, the antiviral medications are very helpful, typically if they're started within the first 48 hours of okay. contracting the illness. And again, those who are high risk, either those who have severe progressive disease or those individuals who are chronically debilitated, uh, et, et cetera, those are the individuals who should get the Tamiflu and the other antiviral medications. And real quickly, your advice sure. for folks who don't want to get that vaccine. You know, we always hear folks say, well, I don't usually get it. What would you tell them? It is proven to be the most effective way to prevent acquiring the virus and the disease and transmitting it to others. The other is making sure that you you know, cover your mouth, cover your nose. Good hand washing is very, very important. You can't force anyone, but obviously the more people who get immunized, then the less disease there is in the community. Awesome. Well, Great. thank you so much for joining us with Great. those uh, good, good tips. And for more on Dignity Health Glendale Memorial Hospital, you can just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click on Scene on TV. We'll be right back.